I hope you're ready for some primitive, a touch of rustic, and even some Christmas for Christmas in July to inspire you to get creative. Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Let's get started with some crafting. I got this cool paddle from my local transfer station on the free pile, and it's a wooden spoon of some sort. I uh, don't really know what it's for. I don't really know what the little uh, letters at the top are for, but it looks like some kind of a stir or a paddle or something, and it's pretty yucky. So I cleaned it up the best that I could, sanded it down, took off the leather uh, handle on it, and I'm just showing you here that it has kind of a back and a front. It's tapered in the back. So I'm going to paint it all over with this black Waverly paint, and we're going to use the front, the flat part for the front. I did two coats of the black Waverly paint on each side and then once it was dry I sanded it down fairly heavily on the edges to just give it some distress and age. I like the way this looks and it's definitely a primitive look. So I went up the little handle and all around and I even did the back side just in case somebody wanted to do something with that side as well. So here I'm just showing you the nice sanding that I did there. So I have some Waverly antique wax and I like to go over my black with this to uh, just bring out that black. I don't know, it just makes it look nice and rich. And then it also takes those raw edges that I just sanded down and it darkens those up into a nice brown. It also seals it up and makes it easier to clean and dust. I have this little pitberry ring I got from the same place that I got the little paddle from, which is my local transfer station. And we have a free area that we can pick these up in. I'm gonna use some of my floral wire to tie my little pitberries on. It's small wire, it's easy to work with, and it's easy to hide it if you don't want anyone to see it. So I'm just going to wrap that around the handle of the paddle and then trim off any of the extra wire. And then just gonna fluff and rearrange my little pit berries to go around the way I want them. And then I'm going to add a little bit of some homespun material. This is just burgundy and tan material and I'm just gonna put that on the top and make a little bow. And it's a really simple little piece of primitive wall decor. basket at the free pile at my transfer station. I'm going to try not to call it my dump anymore um, because it is a transfer station. But it was in the free pile before we got our new little um, building that I just showed you in my last video. And it was just sitting outside. It did smell of smoke a little bit. So I left it outside for, I don't know how long it's been out there, maybe two weeks just sitting in the shed so it didn't get wet. But I really love it, it's got the top on it, it's got little handles. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about it is the paint job. It's got these lavender flowers with a blue bow and I don't know, just not my style. But, um, and I've been going back and forth trying to decide what I wanted to do for it. Uh, as far as what to paint on it. And I got this piece of material the other day 
and I was wondering if maybe it would fit right down here to give it a little accent of something. So let me show you what that looks like. So I don't know what this goes to, part of a ribbon of some sort, but I picked it up at a flea market place and it was next to nothing for a price. But I love the writing on it and the black, it's black writing and then it's got like brown, I guess it's kind of a brown, burgundy color writing in the background. And it's just, it's not very wide or, yeah, it's not very wide, but I've got a nice, it's a nice long piece. It's definitely, I don't know, 10 feet, maybe eight feet. So it will definitely fit around the bottom of this basket. So what I was thinking was putting it down here and it fits perfect. Now these are slats and they move in and out of the basket part. So I'm thinking I can cut this into strips and put them, feed them in and out so it would still go in and out of the basket so it would give it some, I don't know, dimension. It would it'd be really cool, I think. But I don't like the color, it doesn't go well. They don't go well together. So I want to paint it. And I've been trying to decide if I want to do black and then put this on because of the black writing. I think this would really pop on black. But I'm gonna try to steer clear of that right now. I think what I'm gonna do is do my ivory paint. This is from Tractor Supply. It's Restore um, Diamond Hard, I think it's called. Diamond Hard, this is ivory. So I think I'm gonna do it in ivory and distress it back a little bit and then put on my dark stain wax. However, I showed you how I mixed that up. If you haven't seen it, it's in the last video, plus I have a short on it. Um, and so I think I'm gonna do that. So it's still gonna be a dark, moody, um, primitive, rustic piece, but I think it's gonna be better than this. I mean, this is lovely, but this isn't my style. So I'm going to try and dress it up. So we're gonna paint this. So let's get started. So that was a demonstration on how to make a long story longer. I <laughs> I don't know why I went on and on about that, but it's kind of like what's going on in my brain. I'm not quite sure what I wanna do with this basket. I really have this strong urge to paint it black and then distress it back and add the brown uh, antique wax to it and that's what I really wanted to do but I wanted to try and do something a little different give some different colors to this that would match that that uh, piece of material it's kind of my inspiration material so that's why I'm going with that so I'm just going to paint two coats on this basket um, so, and I also, as I'm showing you here, I'm doing a little bit on the inside. I'm just doing one coat in there. Now it's a beautiful day. So I thought I would take this outside. And while I was out there checking it, I had to show you guys my new additions. I have a mama that hatched out four little chicks. So they're out there feeding over by the coop just totally adorable so i wanted to share that with you guys i know this isn't a homestead page but we are homestead and i do actually have another channel it's called whiskey and off-grid whiskey and sunshine so if you're interested in checking out what we do around here uh, you could check that channel out i'll put a link down in the description for you so once that was all dry i had the two coats on there and it looks really good i took some of my dark uh, wax that I have or dark stain. It's just antique wax, water, and some black paint mixed together. And I'll link that in the description on how I do that as well. I did a quick short on it. It's very simple. So I just put that in and then I'm wiping it back so that it kind of falls down in between the cracks and it just makes it look a little more aged and distressed. So this is the top, so I'm just going along and doing just a coat on there, and you can definitely see the difference on how it colors it. Now 
I'm doing the same thing with the basket, of course, so that they will match. And I, so I'm brushing it on and then I'm gonna wipe it back. Now, if you wanted to not do this part, you could skip this part and, and not put on any of the dark wax. Just seal it, put your uh, material on and be done with it. Uh, I just like the look of the many different layers that you can put on a basket. The reeds of the basket just make it look so uh, interesting and cool when you have different depths. So I also did the little strips down in the middle just because when I weave that material in and out, um, it's going to show. So now I'm showing you that I'm not really big on just the black. I'm putting the material up there so you can kind of see that, I don't know, I'm just not happy with it. So I'm going to take some antique wax just straight out of the bottle. So this is going to have a brownish hue to it. And we're going to add another dimension to this basket. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the black stain. I'm brushing it on and then I'm going to wipe it back. So I'm patting it back so that it will leave some more of the brown on the top and you can still see the black as well. So you have the mixture of the two colors plus the ivory color underneath. So now I'm going to cut these into strips. I'm just measuring just by eye uh, how wide I want those to be and I'm cutting them down into strips and I'm gonna weave those in and out of the reeds of the basket. It goes pretty easy. I usually use like a safety pin, but these reeds are very tight. So I'm just using a straight blade screwdriver and pushing the end in there, and I go all the way around. Now this takes four strips, so it pretty, goes pretty quickly, and I get those through there. I wanted to glue the ends in and forgot to plug in my glue gun. So I have that heating up and while I did that, I looked at my basket and I decided I wanted to tone it down just a little bit with another layer of ivory. So you're still gonna see the black and the brown wax through this, but I wanted to just make it a little bit lighter. It was a little bit dark. And uh, so I'm doing that to the lid and the sides. So it's just a light dry brush that I'm doing over it and it it definitely lightens that up a little bit. And then here on the basket, as you can see, I did w uh, wipe it just a little uh, back so that you could still see the colors. Now that my heat, my glue gun, not my heat gun, my glue gun is uh, all heated up, I'm just gluing in those ends. I tried to start and stop in the same place so that we could have one spot that was all the same where it stopped and ended So I purposely cut this with scissors when I did the strips, but uh, even then I still got a lot of strings and fraying, which I don't mind the fraying, but the strings were just insane. So I decided to take my lighter and just go over it with the lighter and burn up a few of those little strings that were sticking out. And then uh, it just they just rolled off really nicely once they were burned. And that just makes the edges a little bit seared it kind of gives it another cool look and also keeps it from shedding and uh, coming apart even more so you have to be very careful don't leave it on there too long you don't want the basket to go up in flames but uh, it worked pretty nice and cleaned up those edges now i was thinking i was done with the basket but then i got looking at it and i had some material that was uh, just a basic tan color with some of the ivory color. And I thought it would look really good on the inside of this basket. And it looks to me like it's kind of a uh, laundry basket or a blanket basket. So I thought it would look really nice with a liner in it. Plus when you do the stain on the outside, you can't help but get that 
stain to come through the reeds and it didn't look very pretty. So I had this ton of material and so I cut it down so that it would fit in this basket and then I glued it to the inside rim and then tucked it in to the basket to give it a nice liner. Now once I did that I had to finish off the edge and I just folded it over and then glued it underneath the edge. So I use the lip of the basket when I do this and I glue it and I leave the material uh, wrong side out the, on in this case it was there it's the same on both sides but if you had some material that was only one sided you would want to put the wrong side out and leave it outside of the basket glue it and then flip it in and tuck it into the basket uh, and then I go around when I'm done and just make sure that I have glue up underneath all of those spots because it never fails I always miss some spots and now I think I'm finished. I picked this little ladder up at a local flea market and I started to take the pit berries off and realized I wasn't recording. So I ended up taking them off. Uh, it has like spider carcasses in it and it's very dirty and yucky. The only thing worth saving was the little rusty stars which I cut off and I saved those but I threw the rest of the pit berries away. They were just yucky. So I have this piece of swag material are uh, not really material but greenery with pit berries bells uh, it's got some homespun material on it and it's really pretty but I wanted to make a ladder to put this on and do this exact same thing but because I ran into this at the flea market I decided I was going to do it with this one so basically all I'm doing is replacing the old Pitberry swag with this new one. It's actually going in the exact same spot as the old one. And I'm going to use my floral wire again. Uh, it works really well to, to hide what you're, uh, that you're using it to hold that on there. So I just feed it through and I twist it on. And then I try and turn it so that it goes inside of the ladder, the back pieces, and I trim that off so that you can't see them. And if you were to lean this up or put it against the wall, it wouldn't scratch the wall with the wire. So I did that in the middle and on both ends to keep that shape. And it is actually wired, so it will keep the shape very well, but it holds that on there nicely. And I think this is just beautiful. I think I get this from Factory Direct. I'll leave a link down in the description. I'm pretty sure that's where I got it. If I can find it, I'll put it in there for you.
I hope you find these pieces inspiring and make you want to do your own projects. And if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.